Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this Inform Player Review with me, your boy FIFA One HD, where we're going to be taking a look at the 84-rated Inform Brozovic card. Now, before we get into the review, as always, if you could hammer the hell out that like button if you do enjoy the video, that would really help me out. And if I can help you out in any way, maybe you've got questions on Brozovic or FIFA 18 in general, ask away in the comments below, as I'll be happy to answer every single one I receive. So, looking at his mental physical comparison, and you can see this guy is good at pretty much everything. He does have some stats standout areas however his stamina is very very good and vision there at 86 is incredible also his composure and attack positioning are really really good and everything else is just pretty damn decent and that continues into his skill attributes comparison as you can see there's an absolute sea of green only a few oranges in there but overall he is a very good and well-rounded player some standout areas obviously ball control and dribbling so so good his finishing is okay at 74 but long shots and shot power really do make up for that i must admit long passing short passing also pretty damn good and his tackling is neat and tidy there as you can see we move on we see four star weak foot three star skills which is pretty damn decent high medium work rates which i love on a center attacking mid and a couple of specialities and traits including playmaker long passer and long shot taker so let's get into the main block of the review so my thoughts on the 84 rated Inform Brozovic card were that he was an absolute fantastic all-rounder. I mean, he really does embody what a midfielder is and he is great to have in your team. I really enjoyed using this guy because no matter who I was playing, what formation I was up against, what sort of style of play they had and where he was on the pitch... He was always adaptable and always could deliver and do a really, really good job because he's so well-rounded in every single area, making him a fantastic central midfielder or center attacking mid or even central defensive mid. He is very versatile and for that reason, playing in a good league, he is a very attractive proposition. You can fit him into a range of formations, no matter where you want to play him across the midfield, you can be doing that. I would recommend him at central midfield. I think that is where he will excel. Although centre attacking mid is also a really viable option. I don't think central defensive midfield is a great way to play this card. You know, he can do a job there, but that's not really his role. Unless you're playing him in a partner of CDMs, I wouldn't bother. I think central attacking mid or central midfield are definitely the role to be playing with this guy. His pace is very neat and tidy. It's nothing to brag about. 73 overall made up of 73 acceleration and 73 spin speed means that he feels 73. You know, he can cover the pitch well, but he's not lightning quick. You know, he will get left by some really, really fast players. But more often than not, he will catch them up, he will make great tackles, and he will be able to join in on attacks and recover into good areas. So overall pace, not too shabby, nothing to brag about, but certainly nothing to worry about either. His shooting is absolutely fantastic. One-on-one -on -one finishing is a little bit hit and miss at times, but overall, very tidy. Where he really excels though is those long ranges. Anything just outside the box, he is absolutely hammering home. He is fantastic at scoring some really thunderbolt great shots that just take the net off the goal and really feel fantastic. And exactly why you're paying those big bucks for an inform like this, he scores some special goals as he did for me that just feel really good to score and really enjoyable to use on this card, giving you a great option. That even though he can dribble his way into the box, if the space presents itself on the edge of the area I definitely recommend holding down shoot because he will find the top corner very very regularly I promise you his passing is decent very neat and tidy can definitely link up well in that attacking central midfield role that is quite key his vision is very very strong and his short and long passes are ideal for this position so he will definitely rack up quite a lot of assists for you over the games his dribbling is an area that I absolutely loved. With 88 ball control and 85 dribbling, he is really special in this area and very, very easy to just move the ball out of his feet, create that yard of space for a killer pass or a killer shot. And he does that time and time again very well indeed. His defensive side of his game is also very solid. You know, it's nothing necessarily to brag about, but he's got decent strength. He's got good stamina so he can keep up and keep chasing people. And he's got really solid stand and slide tackles, whereby he will definitely win the ball. No matter where you play him on the pitch, if he's making a tackle, he is more than likely winning it. So overall, I've had to give him an 8.5 out of 10 because in FIFA at the moment, there are very few better players that deliver an all-round game like this. And he's an informer as well 
I wouldn't pay anything over 60k. I think his price will settle around that sort of mark. Anything lower and you are getting an absolute bargain. So I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and peace.